Should you be ashamed of your sexual past? This was a conversation I was having with a friend of mine recently and we were talking about those secret little folders that we may have in our phones or those images and videos that we have from the past, you know what I mean? And discussing about whether you show that stuff or even tell those stories to a new partner. And he said something that really resonated with me. And he said, if someone is ashamed or someone is embarrassed or feels awkward for what you're telling them or showing them, it's not your responsibility and it's not your problem. It's theirs and they own it. And I thought, wow, that was so right because, and especially I feel like this happens for a lot of women, is that in our youth and when we are young and experimental, I mean, you might even not even be young and experimental, you might be middle-aged and experimental, but whenever you go through that phase in your life where you start to experiment sexually, if you do find yourself at some point after that in a more serious relationship, then sometimes those conversations are had about what you've done in the past and what you've experienced and explored. And for a lot of women, I feel as though that there are certain things that somebody can deliver a sense of shame about. We still have this notion that it's like women can explore and experiment with their sexuality to this certain point and then past this point we're going to shame you and tell you that you're slutty or you're too experimental or you've had too much sex but the problem is is this point doesn't have an actual definition we don't know where that is going to be it's going to change for each individual person so the problem sometimes in relationships or even new relationships is that you might be telling your partner all these lovely fantastic interesting pleasurable things that you got up to and then there's a certain point where they start to feel uncomfortable or they start to think differently of you if you were in a situation where that happens do not let that change how you see and how you feel about those experiences because this is a version of slut shaming we shouldn't feel shamed for anything that we do sexually you know these are things hopefully that have been consensual and things that you have wanted to do and explore and experiment with. And no matter at what stage of your life that you're at, no one should make you feel shameful or guilty or you know, any type of negative feelings for having done that or having experienced that. So I think you know this is even in general when it comes to slut shaming. If somebody is trying to deliver that shame to you for something you've done in your sexual life, then that is their problem and not yours and block it out. Because how you feel about it and how you look back at those experiences it was, is what matters. Now, if you do find yourself looking back at those experiences with some form of shame or guilt, you need to really challenge yourself as to why that is. Is it the feelings from somebody else that have rubbed up on you? Is it the way that society sees women and you feel that maybe you had regret? Even if an experience didn't turn out the way that you want it to, you know, say that you felt really connected to somebody and then they never return your calls or someone was disrespectful, or someone did cross a boundary. Then also too, you need to look back at those experiences and make sense of them and see them for what they were. Maybe it was an experience that taught you something about yourself. Maybe it was an experience that taught you how to protect yourself and how to speak up for your boundaries. And even if it was awkward and uncomfortable and not a pleasurable experience, there's something that you can take away from that and learn from and also maybe even protect yourself in the future because you've had that experience. Now, kind of like a little asterisk thing, this doesn't mean like if someone has been raped or experienced a lot of trauma, I don't think that I should in any way, shape or form try and change the way that you see that. But I'm more talking about the lighter, more awkward, he never called me back, didn't really feel good, wasn't the right person to have sex with situations. So if you have experienced any type of trauma or rape or abuse, then how you deal with that and how you see with that moving forward is how you need to cope and, and move past that experience. But the long or the short of this point is no one should make you feel shameful for things that you have enjoyed and things that you have chosen to do sexually in your life. No matter if that is someone on the street, someone that you meet in a bar, or even somebody that you're in love with. Okay, so I hope that one helps. And if you would like to stay tuned to my vlogs in the future, whatever they may be, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you wanna check out what I have on my online shop, they can help with pleasure, um, check out Dr. Nikki's shop. Thanks, bye.